Okay, dokie, let's try that again. <laughs> Leave her up and running now. Let's have to change a couple of things. There we go, World Warships up and running. Um, it's, I'm actually going to up the music a bit as well. Because I actually like listening to music while playing. I know some people don't. Actually, it's been a while since I've kind of, kind of listened to this music, so that's nice. Um, we're just going to keep kind of trying try to rank out of tiers 5 and 6 for the most part. Um, we do have a, we do have a tier 7 ship, the King George V. Um, I've only got about 130 hours in this game, maybe I should be higher up, I don't know. Maybe I should be higher up by now. Who knows. Anyway, um, yeah, the plan is just to kind of play with our tier 5 and 6 ships as well, just to kind of get better at the game. Last time I played, I did pretty well in the Emil Bartan. Um, must actually be fairly close to to leveling up now. Um, actually, we'll probably check off this game, see if we can go up to a, a tier six French cruiser. I just like the French cruisers for their speed, really. Um, that's why I, I kind of like them. Um, certainly, the Emil Bartans are very. I find to be a very fast cruiser, which is nice. Apologies if you hear me drinking or coughing or sneezing. I'm rather unwell with COVID at the moment, um, but do my best and gives me plenty of time to play games, which is nice. <laughs> so definitely do our best. We're in a tier four and five here, so we should be able to hold our own. There are two aircraft carriers by the looks of things. Um, we're on the left hand side. It's not a very populated area. Hopefully, kind of the guys in the centre can help support us. Um, we'll have to see how this goes. Sending two destroyers, so we might need to add as kind of a third destroyer on, on this left flank. And kind of scouting, it, scouting out for the, the bigger Let's ships. Let's give them a hard time. Let's give them a hard time? Absolutely. Okie dokie, what do we need to do? I mean, we just need to push up to that capture point there, but that's going to be easy said than done. It's probably going to be more. It's probably going to be more about actually um, killing them than anything else. So I'm just concerned the music might be a little too loud, so we're just going to turn things down slightly. There we go. Just so hopefully that I can be heard. Uh, range on Army Botan is 14.9, which is not bad at all, actually. Um, there's bound to be, yeah, there's definitely someone down there. We need to be careful, we don't have a huge amount of room to manoeuvre around here. So actually we may want to kind of stay behind the hill until necessary. We are detected. I mean, the, the nice thing about this ship is it's very manoeuvrable. That's kind of what we're going to need to be doing um, to kind of get out of the way, really. Um, that's kind of how we're going to be avoiding as best we can. Uh, we can start with that Kirov over there. He's actually behind, behind cover for the most part. It's, so we can't actually get to him. Maybe the the Emerald over here. I think we just need to kind of work on our speed going forwards and back, forwards and back. Can't actually see anyone yet, which is mildly frustrating. But hey ho, what can we do? Oh, there, there he is. He's hiding. Let's keep our high explosives out. I'm just going to adjust the microphone slightly. Oh. Close, but not close enough. Uh, what about the Emerald over there? Also hiding. There's lots of, um, lots of stuff happening here from the aircraft carriers. We haven't had much of an impact this game just yet, uh, but that Kirov is moving out and about. I think that's probably going to be too slow to actually cause any hits. Yeah, um, oh boy, let's not hit the Piotr of Anarchy. Um, we want, yeah, we wanted to kind of take on the kill, really. Hopefully that's a bit more where we want it to be. Could you follow that? That looks better. Two shells, I'll take it. We're in very close proximity to this uh, PR tribe. I'm actually going to peel off. Because I don't want uh, them to be able to get like a double hit in. Um, 
Oh, the, we did see the Lagney there briefly. We'll actually, we'll actually try to push into the Lagney next. Because aircraft carriers are paid even at tier 4. Um, Salem didn't get much of a hit there. Let's... Let's see if we can set the Langley on fire from here. We don't have any many battleships. There's only two battleships. There's very much a cruiser battle. Oh, we citadeled. I mean, we only citadeled with high explosives, so it's not going to do much. Um, well, we kind of want to set them on fire. That's kind of the goal. Torpedoes uh, to starboard. We're going to need to stop and turn to avoid those torpedoes, I think. We could switch the armor piercing if we see the Langley again. Torpedoes, um, dead ahead. Which we might end up doing. We're going to switch back and take out that Langley because it's a shame we only citadeled for 2,000 odd damage, or whatever it was. I think the nice, the nice thing is about the um, Mibo 10 is that we can shoot with two forward, uh, uh, two forward facing gu uh, guns, which is nice. I actually don't want you to auto steer, but hey ho. Oh, just missed the Langley. Torpedoes, dead ahead. This is a bit of trouble there. We're actually going to just pull back a bit. Uh, we ricocheted off the top. That's the only thing. I don't know if switching to armor pissing was the best idea, but we've got to give it a go. It's turning slightly. Let's see if that works. Um, people we seem to really have a hatred for. Yeah, see, we're just ricocheting now. Um, let's actually switch back and let's switch back to some other ships. We can come back for the uh, guy later. I don't think he's moving that quickly, but hey ho. We need to we need to do better because we're we're not contributing that much. I'm losing badly. Uh, CP10 and Langley while it's turning. And then we'll head maybe to, over to over the Konings, Konigsberg. The, Konings, the Konigsberg, I should say. Yeah, we haven't contributed to that much this game. Um, let's try shoot now. I think in a second we might switch back to high explosive. See if we can actually just help out with that, killing out that Langley. Um, we should be able to. Now we're switching to high explosive for now. Just to try to set them on fire, I think, for the most part. Oh, we shot way too far, I thought he was moving a lot quicker. Let's try that again. We are absolutely losing this battle, so I think everyone's focusing down that aircraft guy, which is not a good idea. Yeah, I should have been using high explosive, really, for him. Aim for that kill off if we can. We still have our battleships, which is good. And we, we have finally taken out that land, which is support. also good. Let's take that out as if we can. Oh, ho, ho, that is a lucky Hawkins, but he's not going to avoid them all. Oh, he did run off with them all. That's a very lucky Hawkins indeed. We're actually going to push back this way around the island and help support because the two battleships are up there. We need to help protect our aircraft carriers because they're going to be struggling a bit in a second. I think we just lost the Piotr Veliki. We're doing abysmally in this match. Let's take out that marble head if we can. Ah, he's again going too fast. I need to get used to the speed of the of the, of the Emil Batan. We need to help our aircraft carriers because they're going to struggle otherwise. Um, let's go here. That, I'm hoping that's a good hit or a decent hit. We just lost, lost the Mimax as well. Let's take out that Masuki if we can. Let's also send these just as a just as kind of as a salvo. By the way, you guys are in not great shape, but there's not much else we can do on here on this flank. Let's see if we turn that Masuki out quickly. 
Torpedoes to port. Okay, we took out the Masuki, that's good. Enemy destroyer Torpedoes to port. I'm trying to protect these guys as best I can, but that turbine's gonna absolutely decimate. Enemy cruiser sighted. Come on, get some good hits off. One. Great. I mean, that hurt me. That guy's d destined to die, really. We need to turn quickly because we're going to struggle otherwise. Take that marble head if we can. I mean, there's not much we can do here to help. We just. We just lost the Hermes and the Hawkins. The enemy is about to win. The enemy is about to win, but we'll do our best. Uh, the Hawkins is doing okay. Take out the mar Oh, that was a big hit. Let's take out that marble head if we can. Pretty soon, pretty soon we're going to start to really struggle here, though. Let's send you out. He's going to. I shouldn't be using high explosive, but I don't have the opportunity to really change my ammo. Type we set on fire. Uh, we've incapacitated something. We are going to die here. To um, it's just us and that aircraft carrier left. I'm hoping we might be able to torp him afterwards anyway. Um, can we get one more hit off on the marble head? We should kill him with fire anyway, actually. So we'll head, we'll head for the Yogi. We've killed two guys. Destroyed an enemy cruiser. Ugh, this is not great. <laughs> uh, let's take out this guy if we can. Our team depends upon you. I'm the last person alive. I don't think we're going to manage anything, but we're doing our best, hopefully. On 32 points, blimey. Turn. It's literally just me. <laughs> we're going to crash into the island if we're not careful. That, some of those torpedoes, I think, are oh no, too slow really to get to, to, to you in time. That's going to be it, I think. Not yet. We need to keep on turning. Turn, shoot quickly, and see if we can get a couple of shots in before we die. Oh, we might be able to get this turbine in if we're lucky. Oh, we've crashed. <laughs> shoot, 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 shoot. Come on, kill the turbine, kill the turbine, kill the turbine. <laughs> I tried my best. I've got to think we did pretty good in that, at least in the team performance. Yeah, we came second um, in the team performance, but it wasn't great. But wow, that was a, a, a dreadful game for our side. Um, that was awful. <laughs> we'll try again. We'll see if we can keep on going. Because that was just truly abysmal. Deary, deary me. Okay, we'll try again. Um, but I do want to kind of keep playing with the Emil Bertin. And Emil Bertin. Sorry, I'm not very good at French. Just because I, I, I think it's quite a fun ship to play as. You kind of have to play as a very fast-moving gunboat, kind of, at the Outer Rangers. Or at least that's certainly how I play it. But, you know, whether that's the case, we are in a Tier 5 through 6 battle. This time it shouldn't be too bad. Um, Interesting. Well, a couple of... We don't have too many T6s. We've got some T6 destroyers, though. That's going to be interesting to deal with. Um, we'll certainly try our best. Try our best to fight, anyway. Um, we are on... Oh, this is the... I don't really like this map. And there are two sub... There's two submarines this time as well. <coughs> Good luck, everyone. Like a lot of people, I'm sure I'm not a great fan of fighting against submarines, but... Hey ho. There he is. I guess he's staying above ground while he can. To conserve power oxygen. I've never actually played as um, submarines before, but I imagine that's kind of how things work. I think he's about to. They'll probably start submerging fairly soon, I imagine. Good luck, and fair seas. Good luck everyone. Okay, we've got our first contact. A Fuso. That's a tier 6, isn't it? Yeah. We don't have any. Uh, we don't have any. Uh, 
We don't have any, what should we call it? Any aircraft carriers this time, so that'll be interesting. Good luck, everyone. Um, I'm already detected from somewhere that's going to be a destroyer or something. If you don't want to be shot. All forces, provide cover for that target. I don't know if we need to provide cover All for the. Um... the oh, that's an Ismael, that's not good. We need to pull back, actually, we're way too exposed here. We're hit by the okay, cases, there's a sub in the area. We pinged from somewhere down there. Let's see if we can actually send some depth charges down. Um, I could use the damage control, but it doesn't feel like a great idea. We're not having a great time here, it must be said. Plan is to try kind of go kind of get around the island to avoid those torps coming in, which they are going to be. We have crashed into the island, but nothing to spare them. Dealing with those torpedoes, I torpedoes think. Torpedoes astern. Because they're going to crash into the island for the most part. I'm going to push help and help here in the middle because I know there is that destroyer. We go by the hill. Requesting assistance. Yeah, let's just take you out, hopefully. We didn't quite get the range that we needed on him, that's annoying. Fella, what are you doing? Torpedoes to port. I think those torpedoes didn't hit anyone there. We're going to be hit by those badly. I think you're all actually reversing. The position of a strategic target. Uh, no one's died yet. For the most part, I kind of just stick with high explosive, but. Not opposed to change that. We did just lose the Nuremberg on. Oh, I can't. Yeah, with this flank here, yeah. Don't know if we actually. I don't know if we actually want to be poking our head around this island, but there's not. We may not be much we can do about that. Do I, New York? I'll get out of your way. I know there's a. There's a, uh, a destroyer around here somewhere. I don't suppose. How far can our depth charges go? Not far enough. Okay. Depth, depth charges can't reach that far. We need to be careful out on this flank because we're kind of the most exposed one at the moment. Getting a few hits off. Maybe we want to be using. Oh, we're piercing, I don't really know. So we can set this uh, Aboa on fire, or Aoba. How do you say it? Uh, Aoba. I think we were too, yeah, a bit too far forward for that, really. Let's try that again. It's tricky enough, so let's turn. Hopefully we can avoid most of his shells. This is the thing, we kind of, kind of kite from the very far edge. Kind of just keep them distracted for the most part, hopefully. Um, I want to be able to shoot that. I don't know if we can actually shoot from with our with our main battery guns, but we'll see. Oh yes! <laughs> Enemy submarine we pick up we picked up the U69, wonderful. Okay, what are we doing on this side? We took out our destroyer, that's the main thing. I guess maybe when it when it is surfacing you can take them out. Oh, he took, out, he took out the Nuremberg though in the process. We are the only one out on this flank. We need to be careful. Um, but we do have the submarine here as well. We need to be very careful because everyone else is kind of behind the island for the most part. But we also need to spot for them. Is although maybe the U69 can do that. Pretty soon that U69 is going to have to surface though, so that's going to be interesting. Let's see if we can attack that Julio Cesera. Um, don't know, I'm not probably absolutely butchering that pronunciation, but hey ho. We set them on fire, that's good. Uh, I think we probably don't want to actually go around this island. Yeah, 
we actually want to turn around, I think. We don't want to push around too far. But we are slowing ourselves down to do this, which isn't great. Yeah, and they're all coming in for me. On fire. Let's get out of it. Get around the corner. The fire shouldn't last too long, but... Yeah, that's going to be too... That's going to be... We're not going to be able to get that guy. Anywhere else we can shoot quickly? Like, there. I'm so sorry, I wasn't paying attention. Apologies, New York. This is what happens when I'm not paying attention. Oh, we crashed it again. That's my fault. I'll let him go. That's my fault. <laughs> Apologies. That Congo is down in the middle of nowhere. Um, we'll see if we can lend a hand here. We are doing okay, but we are losing slightly. Oh, not again, not again, not again, not again, not again. No, 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 no. Oh, for goodness sake. Come on, Dunkirk. I don't feel like that one was my fault. Yeah, we're going to go around this New York, just so we don't hit anyone. We're going to kind of aim for the New York around the other, down, around the other side. Um, that was not the best thing for me to be doing, but hey ho. We're going to aim for this New York as soon as we can. We, as soon as he comes in for us, we'll need to turn, because he will, I think, shoot at us. Our aim is kind of to set him on fire for the most part. That's going to be a bit more of a better angle for us to shoot him. I think he's going to crash into the island just to maybe try to stall some speed. We see him on fire, but he is also healing, so who knows. Okay, we can't get him there. We'll come support the New Mexico on this side. Um, that Omaha is about to die. Like now, yeah. Um. The enemy team has taken the lead. We're not doing great, but we're trying our best. We'll take out. We'll try help with the Fuso here. Uh, that Kamikaze is going to have to do its best, I think, just to stay alive and keep keep those two busy. Just so we can go for the Ismael. We are going to. That make ourselves known, but there's not much we can do about that. We're taking on two tier six battleships, it's not going to go great. Kind of the plan is just to keep setting them on fire. Um, they are going to come in for us. As, as best they can. We're going to just have to keep dodging their fire for the most part. And keep setting them on fire as well. And turn. Turn away, turn away, turn away, turn away. Let's try to avoid those guys. Avoid those shells at least. We're literally just going to have to keep these guys busy while our battleships hold the other side. Turn again, turn again, turn again. Oh, that wasn't ideal. The ship is on fire! Neither is that. Now we're dead. <laughs> Yeah, we tried our best, but I think we're going to lose there as well. Oh, it's a shame that it's just a shame that the Ismael just died now. We probably could have held on if it was just the Fuso, but we were being shot from the Konigsberg, the New York, the Abda as well, or the Iwoba. Which is a shame, but there wasn't much we could do about that really. Um, we tried our best. Okay, what... We're actually going to go... Yeah, we lost that battle. It's not really a surprise there. Tech tree, we're going to actually see if we can upgrade to the Lagarsonier. We should not... We should be 
there, I think, actually. Um, but by the outbreak of World War II, Lugana Stonier was one of the best light cruisers in the world. As contrast to her predecessor, she, in contrast to her predecessor, she featured good main battery guns and the best armor protection among ships of this kind. In 1943, cruisers of this class received enhanced anti-aircraft armor and surveillance radars. Okay, can we afford you? I guess we can. Using some free XP. I'm actually happy to... I think I'm happy to wait, actually. Um, yeah, we'll wait on that. We'll see. I think we might need a bit more practice in kind of the French cruiser before we go up a bit more. Um, in the meantime, we could try playing our King George V, or we could try for our class horn. Um, we've still got a bit to do before we upgrade him. But let's upgrade, let's research and pay for these upgrades. Because I do actually like the tweet, I do actually like the Swedish destroyers for the most part. There we go. Better guns, better firing range, although we rarely use the guns as for in the class form. It's not really what it's for, I suppose. Um could play with our German ships. Do we have any destroyers apart from the class horn? No, because I don't really use destroyers. But we've got the Japanese destroyers, we could try them. Yeah, we lost that Emil we lost with that Emil Mertan as well. Tell you what, we will actually upgrade. I think we'll go up to the La Gansonniere. Research you. We are our first tier six cruiser actually. We've got a new commander, wonderful. It's a nice looking ship. Okay, let's give this a go. Uh, go to equipment. We can get upgrades, but we'll leave that for now. Let's upgrade our lad here. Um, main battery traverse speed, yes, we want to master that. Um, I want the incoming salvo warning because I like being able to. Yeah, I, I like being able to turn and change, and that that's always very useful. I think in the in the French um, ships, I'm also going to get last stand because I just think it's a useful thing to have again when we're trying to always stay manoeuvrable. Torpedo, I'm not as worried about torpedoes. Um, I would like to get a demolition expert, but we don't have the points. I don't think. I oh, know we do. We get one more point. That's. Um, Okay, we'll we'll put that into torpedo speed in case we need it. Um, but we'll we'll, we'll try with the like, kind of sun, Yeah, I'm, I'm going to be intrigued to see how it handles compared to the um, compared to the Mule Batan. Let's give it a go. Try our best. Okay, okay. I mean, I'm not the best of World Warships, but I do try my best to keep on kind of pushing and, and doing my best in terms of fighting. And even if it's just to kind of distract the the bigger ships while the well, while the cruisers and battle cruisers kind of fight as best they can. Um, but yeah, who knows? It's tough, I think, to really kind of push forward with some which isn't that heavily armored. We are. Going up against tier eight, so this may not be a best. I mean, it may not be the best first game we have in in this ship. Um, let me have a look at this. What does this show? Oh yeah, there we go. That's interesting. How does our tier six cruiser compare to someone else's at the Trento? Um, this is better, but this is probably also more graded. I don't even know what that consumable with the end is, the number four. I guess that's switching turret, turret switch type. Something like that. Is there anyone else playing the like Gallison? Yeah, no. Interesting. Three turrets again, each with three gun mounts, that's nine shells altogether. Spot of pain, speed, and whatever that last one is. We'll have to find out. Good luck, 
There's one aircraft carrier, two destroyers, two submarines, four cruisers, and then three battle ships. So actually a fairly even covering of all the different ships. It's actually not bad at all. We need to try not to crash into less people this time. Because that was something we struggled with last game. Because um, I wasn't paying, not, not, not paying attention, but just looking at other things, I suppose. What is the range of the ship as well? The range is 14.5, it's not great. It's actually less than the Emil Batan, but once it's upgraded... Once it's upgraded, I guess it'll be better. But they can see us and they'll be able to start, shoot, they'll be able to start shooting at us because they're going to have some pretty good range on them compared to, compared to us. We need to kind of get in close, which is a shame, because they were going to be absolutely decimated. I'll hang around these islands and see how that goes. Um, could go good, could go bad. But only one way to find out. I definitely think we'll stick with high explosives in this game just because we'll want to set these much higher level targets on fire. For the most part, I think that's kind of what we're going to have to do. Um, these guys are going to start getting rid fairly soon. I don't think we're not going to be able to get him because he's going to push around the side of the island, sadly. Um, hopefully we'll be able to get something fairly soon. He's going to be in range now, but we just won't be able to get him because he's gone behind that massive island. Um, we need to try and keep pushing forward. I don't know what's going on here with these three ships. The Trento, the New Mexico, the Hippo, they're all kind of grouped together. Is that a spotter plane or is that a fighter plane? Let's not waste it. We actually need to have a look at this ship in a bit more detail at some point. Hmm. Interesting. We're kind of going to push up here and help these ships if we can because that Vesteris is getting absolutely mangled up there. And it's not going to survive, I don't think. I think he must have got caught out by that Akazuki. So just out of range, that's a shame. That Gascon, however, will not be, but we are going to need to turn to avoid ramming the New Mexico. I haven't really contributed anything in this game just yet. They're going to start coming for me now, I think. This is the issue, we're just going to not be able to penetrate. But the chance is really just to set fires, hopefully. Enemy cruiser detected. Enemy destroyer detected. Okay, this is going to be interesting. Hopefully we can at least set a fire or two, but that might be a bit too aggressively forward. Ooh, two fires, there we go. Imagine he's going to heal those, so let's then shoot again, simply set some new fires. If we can just keep on peppering this Gascon, that will do us well. well. I imagine at some point he's going to start coming after us, but I guess he's got bigger targets to deal with at the moment. And there are ships hanging, there are planes hanging around as well, hopefully. Oh yeah, he's coming in for us now. We, we want to keep peppering him with fire, really. But well, I think we're going to struggle a bit on this flank. Especially that hipper's about to go down. Take on that canaries if we can. Yeah, the hipper's gone. So they're all going to come for me now. Oh, that's it. Ooh, that hurt. Keep sending salvos down the way, even if it's just a token salvo or two. That was unfortunate. Um, we are kind of by our lonesome down here, apart from the New Mexico and the um, Trento behind us. That's going to be interesting to deal with. Can we fire over this island? If we can, that would be wonderful. It doesn't seem like we can, at least not in many places. Like there we can, just about. Might be able to take out the Amagi there. 
I don't know, it's going to be a tough fight nonetheless. Take out our Gascon if we can. And then we want to pull back because we don't want to actually engage them in proper combat, I don't think. We can't see them anymore, but they're going to be around here somewhere. Or the last things are going to be that quick. Can't quite get that Amagi yet. That's a shame. Uh, we are again losing this battle. There's the gas gone. We can send a salvo and then try high tail it out. I think his guns are now pointing the other way as well. I think we can get a couple of salvos off. He's going to start turning his guns this way though, so let's get out of town, I think for the most part. Is he going to... Oh, we are within secondary range, okay. Let's hightail it out. Engine boost activated. Let's go. And he's turning to fire at us as well. We just need to go. We're not as fast as we used to be in the Inu Batan, that's interesting. Uh, we do not want to have our steering ship damaged, or steering wheel damaged, or whatever it's called. Problem solved, sir. But we need to go, because we're just going to hurt and hurt here. Set up our own plane, I don't know if that's going to do any good. Aircraft gun crews are on full alert. Oh, that's to boost that the aircraft, I see. Man, he must have some high... He must be specting to... Um, he must be kind of specting to... Into a secondary build, maybe. Oh, that hurt. I mean, we're dead here, either way. Let's keep firing as best we can. See if we can set that canaries on fire. Turn too much, sadly. Anti aircraft gun crews are on normal alert. Okay, we're about, to, we're about to die here, but let's see if we can do anything useful before we die. We'll start the steering wheel again. It's going great. Clear is pretty good at. Clear is pretty good at avoiding us. Let's see if that salvo actually does anything useful. Uh, got five shots off. I was never planned to do very well in that because we have been bombarded by multiple ships and we are this we are collapsing as a team. So it was never a plan for that to go very well, I think. <laughs> we tried our best. And we will go back to our good old friend the King George, which I still need to kind of work out how how he's best used. But for the most part, I think we'll be okay. I mean, I like having more health. More health is always useful in these kind of situations. At least I think. I think they are anyway. I find them to be. Okie dokie, what are we doing? We're in a tier 5 through 7, so we might be able to go after some tier 5 and 6s pretty well. Um, we'll have to see how things go, really. Uh, we're on Haven, which is a decent map, I think. We're going to be on... I guess we'll be kind of pushing Bravo and helping Crossfire into Charlie as well. Okay. Um, we're currently on Armour Piercing. I'm happy to stay on that, actually, I think, for the time being. So things go. This is quite an open map from memory, but there are some islands, obviously, in the centre. Action stations! Uh, so pretty good for destroyers. No submarines and no aircraft carriers this time, so that's interesting. Goodness, after playing the French cruisers, this feels very slow to move around, which is accurate, I suppose, given it was a very a big hulking battleship. It does make sense that things would be very quick. Um, I'm just going to turn slightly and kind of follow the path of this somehow with us. The Valaquins. Uh, Tier 7s. Okay, so we've got a tier 7, tier 7, tier 5. 
Um, there is a Sean horse there, which I'm kind of worried about. Oh, good old, good old friendly meal by town there. Um, there's no hybrid aircraft carriers, I don't think, so that's good. I think I do like the gun placement better on the King George than I do the uh, Queen Elizabeth II, or Queen Elizabeth, I should say. Um, which was the previous previous tier of British battleship. Um, right. This is going to be a pretty big map. We have a range of 16.5, but that can, we can use a spotter plane to get that up about another three. About another three kilometres, I think, um, once the need arises, but there's no no need just yet, I think, because we're kind of just pushing forward with what we got. Aha, uh -huh, our first... Oh, I saw someone over there actually briefly spotted by the cruiser. Um, I'm actually <coughs> probably more tempted to kind of maybe take them out if I can. Well, there's these two guys pushing in, so we'll, might, we might kind of be the lone guy on this side over here. Definitely someone behind this island which we want to take out. Just turn slightly. Aha, the Normandy. Put the spotter plane out. Spotter airborne. We're detected. I want to take out that Normandy. Or oh, that that shores, that'll do. Enemy battleship sighted. Fire straight away, that's not the ship is on fire. Oh, we shot a bit too close there. We are on fire, but it's just one fire which we can repair as the need kind of arises. Enemy cruiser detected. Um, kind of the plan is just to keep battering that shores into submission. Although we are going to over penetrate for the most part. We have three fires now, we are healing. I didn't see we had so many. We are being absolutely battered here because we're out in the open. Um, this is not actually quite on to plan. We're really going to starboard. <laughs> this is one of those games where things don't go to plan. Torpedoes to starboard. Enemy destroyer detected. We're holding below the waterline. You think? Flooding quickly. So I'm sorry, I don't pay attention. Enemy cruiser detected. <sighs> Jesus. Okay. Let's pretend that game never existed, and we'll head back to board. <laughs> Dearie me. We tried our best. Um, let's actually try in the class horn if there's enough people for a tier four battle. Um, this is it. We're trying to kind of like get better at destroy. We're basically just trying to get better in general. Because right now, as you can tell, I'm not very good at the game. <laughs> but we try our best. Dearie me. See, so there tends to kind of be less players for these lower tier matches, but it's not the end of the world. I need to get a new chair. This chair is very creaky. I'm used to it, <laughs> but I imagine it. I imagine it can be heard on the recording quite easily. Um, but yeah, I, I want to practice my destroyer gameplay a bit, especially after that absolutely abysmal run with the <laughs> the King George V we just had. But we were very out in the open, so that wasn't very good for us. This is a very destroyer heavy game. There's only one cruiser, blimey. I guess we'll kind of push B, maybe B and C, given we're on this side of the map. Um, yeah, we're not best with our guns, really. Plus one isn't really about the guns. Hmm. I think we might try push B in the centre, because then we can help out either flank as needed. Action stations. I'm 
very sniffly at the moment. Um, but I'll try my best. Yeah, lots of CVs, but this is a full on tier 4 battle, so that's not too bad. We should actually be able to do some useful. There's going to be a lot of destroyer battles, though, which I'm not sure about. Good luck and fair seas. Many thanks. I hate being here with four ranks, but you're in a tier four ship, so that means you kind of have to be. I want USA at level eight, two like German. I don't know what you're saying, but I'm just going to ignore it. Torpedoes are ready to go, that's good. Also hate how developers make German weak, historically Germany strong, but bad captain. Yeah. Do what you wish, good sir, I don't mind. See if we can push in here and maybe try and capture B for the team. I imagine we'll be. I imagine we there'll be some destroyers pushing into B as well, so we need to be careful. We need to have a clear exit plan in place. Yeah, especially as that post show could be. Defense. We are detected from somewhere. It's you. Speaking of my clear exit plan, let's, let's get out. Let's get out through this channel here. I don't know if those torpedo troops can actually do anything useful. Engine damage, speed damage. is reduced. I'm not all too worried about that. Might as well keep firing while we're just in detection range. I think those torpedo. Yeah, those torpedoes missed, sadly. They might hit something else, who knows. Yeah, we are really not a gunboat, it must be said. <laughs> and we don't have a smoke screen because we're kind of just a fast moving destroyer. Yeah, this torpedoes didn't amount to anything. That's okay. Let's see if we just harass that cause a little bit. Um, We've taken a little bit of damage, but I think we can't weather. Oh, torpedoes are up and running again. Send a salvo down here. I want to send a salvo down there as well. Let's turn this way, we don't want to go the wrong side of the island. Especially as that turbine got absolutely decimated. I doubt those will actually hit anything, but it's worth it to try. Just keep on kiting these guns around for the time being. As best we can, anyway. Um, we might actually get that castle because I think it's crashed on the island. We're going to get at least one, maybe two hits off. Come on, get two. Oh, really? I feel like that one was very close to hitting. Take out our V170 if we can, but okay, we've got our first torpedo, torpedo hit of the game. Um, let's actually go, keep on trying to go for that V170. Keep on arresting them, we might be able to just take them out. As is, anyway. We'll go for the Clemson if, if, if the other one dies. I know they're around there somewhere. The enemy team has taken the lead. I'm gonna send a salvo down on that smoke screen. There are a lot of destroyers, yes. Um, and so far we're not actually doing much. I do actually speak a bit of German, but I can't read most of that. I'm learning German at the moment, but not enough to uh, really be able to read that just yet. We just missed the V170 over there. That's unfortunate. I didn't see he come back into range. We think, oh, that, come on, that's surely a, that's surely a kill. Oh, but they're so slow. Come on, surely that's enough to get him. Oh, we just missed. 
That's unfortunate. We're gonna need the Langley's gonna help us out though, I think, which is gonna be good. Come on, we need to reload this torpedo troops quickly. We don't want to lose our... Oh, let's get that Clemson. We're going to get the first kill for the team. Torpedoes to port. Oh, we need to avoid those torpedoes. I think we'll be okay. We need to just turn here. Okay, we've ordered them good. We need to take out that Clemson if we can. Come in some 200 health. I'm actually going to speed boost here. Engine turn back around and try to take out that Clemson. Because he cannot be on much health at Concentrate all. Fire on the designated target. Both the Clemson and the V-170 must be on absolutely like no health at all. Um, I don't know what's going on with the text. I'm just going to ignore it, really. <laughs> There's the Carl Schroon. Put the fire game down there in a second. One to four. Somewhere around here. Is the Clem oh, there he is, the Clemson. Come on, we need, to, we need to take him out. Surely, surely that's it. There we go. Enemy destroyer foundered. Got the Clemson, that's good. We need to be careful because we're going to be absolutely decimated by that Gangut. We've still got a little while. What's our detectability? Uh, 6.8. We're out of range now. But again, we're losing this battle quite badly. Who knows we're going to be here somewhere? The enemy is about to win. I said these, said those ones on the spread actually. And we need to get out of town because he's going to get in range in just a second. Let's go! Come on, get out of range quickly. We might be able to out that gang for something. I think he's probably don't have the fastest torpedoes in the world. Engine boost deactivated. Take that, set that hush on fire if we can. Gonna keep on turning though, so that's not good. Um, we're gonna be detected by that Carl Shroon. deal with those guys behind us as well. Push up here and kind of hope that we can hold here. Well, there's five of us against significantly more of them. The enemy is about to win. Yeah, we're not doing very well today. I don't know if that's just us or just in general. Let's get around the island and really have this tub. Have this turbine as best we can. We all need support, fella. There's not much we can do, I'm afraid. Try our best, at least. Um, we're actually not really in the fight at the moment, but we need to be. Hmm. It's not going great so far, is it? Where can we best be of use? Let's actually push down here, try see if we can cap Bravo. As best we can, we might be able to take on the... Or we can go for the Hosho and the Orion, how about the Turbine maybe? If we can take these guys out, we might stand a chance, but... It kind of just requires on all of us just stealthing a lot. And not being spotted, because if we're spotted that's kind of game over for us. Is he going to come around the island? Hopefully he's that stupid. 
we'll shoot to stay undetected, hopefully, so that he sees us. If he doesn't see us, I should say. Either Orion or someone else. Oh, I do want to take out that turbine, though. Hopefully, it's going to be taken out by someone else. Come on. We've got to try. Okay, that's fine. I don't mind that. Oh, we double striked. Well done, turbine. Okay, we're, changing, we're turning this thing around. That's good. I don't know how much I've, I've had to do to help with it, but I'm glad we're turning it around. But we're not really a gunboat, but we've got to try. The enemy is about to win. Torpedoes to starboard. Torpedoes, Torpedoes to right we should be okay to avoid. The gun... That, however, we will not be able to avoid. Let's turn. Fire the Kansas. Maybe the Orion as well, but now we just need to get out of town quickly. They're going to turn. Activated. They're going to turn to kind of avoid our shots. That's fine. Kind of expected that. Uh, that turbine's going to go down in a second, I think. We can't afford to take any hits like that. Fire. We just need to get out of range Problem quickly. Solved, we might be able to hit that Orion for something with our torps. We just need to leave quickly. Oh, we should be out of detection range now. Unless we're detected from somewhere else. Where, are we, where else are we detected from? Okay, we're out. Oh, we didn't. Oh, he shot us. Okay. Well, we did our best. We tried. Even if not very successfully. Ah, oh, dear me. I mean, that was just an abysmal game for all of us, really. We could try with the Minikaze. Um, or was it Minazaki? I can't remember. The class all didn't go very well. Um... We will try, or do we want the Matsuki? Let's just have a look at the Matsuki because I, I want the long, I want the long range, the long distance torpedoes really. It's actually okay. It's actually the Minakazi we want, and then. Yeah. Okay. So we're gonna go to we're gonna try the Minikaze. I haven't played as the Japanese tree for quite some time. Let's give it a go. We do actually have a point we can put into our captain. Trying to cause the flooding is definitely something we want to we something we definitely want to get. And let's battle with him. See if we can do any good damage while we're kind of trying our destroyers out at the moment. Whether we're successful, I don't know, but we've got to try at least, I think. Um, yeah, there's not much else we're going to be able to do, so we'll at least try with that. Dear me. We can, we'll try our best, at least. Okay, what do we... We should be in a fight in here in just a second. I mean, I am absolutely abysmal with torpedoes, so who knows. Let's see what we've got. Uh, one aircraft carrier, we are in a tier... A tier 5 through 7. So we're going to struggle to make an impact, but we'll do our best. In the Minikaze. Um, sounds like there's a drill above my head, I don't know what's going on. Anyway. Right. Where are we going to go from here? Stations. Well, I guess I'll push Charlie because we're on that side. Okay. Detectability range we have 6.2. Although, obviously, once we shoot, that's going to go 
were become better or not better but worse. Um, and our battery is 8.1. Our torpedo is a 7. That does not give us a huge amount of time to work with. So we do have three torpedo tubes, which is nice. I think three torpedo tubes of two. Oh, I didn't mean to drop depth charges. Oops. We'll push for Charlie, see what happens. I think those are depth charges. I don't know what else they'd be. I haven't played World of Warships properly for a long time. I need to kind of catch up on how all these things, all these things work. We might try to stay by this island and just capture, just hit it around the island. Might be, might be the best thing we can do. Um, but this is a tier five through seven, so I'm not sure. Those planes aren't going to help us at all either. We are going to be seen, but probably only briefly, because I don't think they'll want to kind of target us for the most part. We are detected now, not by planes, from somewhere else. Ah, that guy there. Interesting. We might be able to take that Fiji out with our uh, torpedoes, but we are a little too close to cover at the moment. There is a King George V here with us. Oh, that's a good support, but we need to get out of range of being seen. We can smoke up for the King George as well, but I don't know if that's the best use of our time. Send one salvo down here. One here, and we'll send another salvo here. So I'm gonna smoke up for you. Smoke generator started. We'll smoke for you, or maybe you don't want to, I don't know, but we'll we'll cover the we'll cover the land for you at least. Give you some give you some some some, some cover at least, if nothing else. Smoke screen set. Well, I imagine you probably don't want to stay in it that much. Because they are torpedo magnets. Although I can see. I can see the things coming in. There's an enemy York just there. Let's take out this smoke screen if we can. Oh, we've, okay, we didn't make that work. What's he doing now? Is he going to go back in? He is on f quite badly on fire. Is the York going to come away or not? I don't know. He's turning away, so I'm not all too concerned about that. We'll send a server down in case there's a guy back here. The salvo there as well. We're not the best with destroyers in honesty, and everyone else is on the other side of the map, so I don't know what's going on. I'll try to spoil this King George as best I can, but I'm terrible with destroyers, I really am. Getting them spotted, if nothing else, but he's going to be absolutely battered back there. If those guys have a bit more range, we might be able to take out the York, but it seems not. Enemy submarine in sight. Where's the sub? Oh, there's the sub. 
deployment. That's not even the submarine I'm the talking about. Fire. But hey ho. Let's fire those off. And we're going to be absolutely decimated here, I think. Yeah, we're not going to last very long here. Engine boost activated. We need to go, because we are going to be absolutely brutalised here. If we can even escape from here, that would be good. Don't think that's going to happen with that fire, though. The ship Let's is on fire! See what we can do. Take out that York, at least, hopefully. Yeah. Man, I'm not going to destroy us. I'm just terrible at them, really. Dearie me. Okay, I think we're going to take a quick break from warships and we'll probably play something else afterwards, I don't know. I'll be back in just a few seconds.
Okay, we're here with Britain Warder, all banned, but I don't quite know how to change the, <laughs> the title of my stream. I'm still very new to streaming in general. So I think we'll probably what we will do, we'll end the stream and start a new one straight away. So we'll be right back. <laughs> 